Hi everybody, Tina Plackinger. Welcome to my channel where I read daily devotions out of my daily devotional. Ah, called Treading on Serpents. And the phone is ringing. Oh well, we'll ignore it. Nobody calls all day. Nobody ever calls. I make a video on <clears throat> um, the Sword of the Spirit and the phone starts ringing. Interesting. September 12th. Now the Sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. Period. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians. The Sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And I don't know if you have realized or have seen in some pictures uh, Jesus uh, and uh, a sword uh, is coming out of his mouth. Um, it's just, yeah. it is what it is. Okay. Some images, here we go. I write better than I talk these days, and it all comes from being isolated uh, for too long. Uh, I was reading an article uh, the other day, something, maybe it was on the internet, uh, about uh, some autistic child uh, could no longer talk because he hadn't talked for a while. I don't know why, I don't know what the situation was. He's fine and all of that, but I just thought that was very interesting because I used to be quite the schmoozer, quite the people person, you know, did a lot of talk shows, trained a lot of people, auditioned for a um, uh, talk show host, didn't get it, I didn't get it, and I, and I honestly couldn't understand why because I really thought that I was the best at that, um, interviewing people and just talking and uh, not talking for a really long time is not good. Now, I've heard that about older people, too. It's not good for their brains and stuff like that. It's best that they interact and they, and they talk and, and, and they interact with others. I didn't really realize that I would, it would affect somebody in their um, uh, 40s and 50s like it did me, but it, it really has. So, but anyways... Some images have depicted Jesus with eyes of fire and a sword coming out of his mouth. The sword of the Spirit is the word of God and like a double-edged sword. The sword of the Spirit is the word of God and like a double-edged sword. Again, Ephesians 6.17. The sword is widely known as a figur figurative representation of the power of God's words when spoken. Okay. Once we learn some scripture, we will have acquired the sword that goes along with the shield of faith. We speak scripture when we need to go in for the kill to finish off the opponent. We do not care what the perpetrators think while they spy on us. We do not care what they think about us. Who cares? Let them watch and see how powerful our God really is. In addition, if a perp says something hurtful, we can put up our shield and stab with our sword. Now, we have the weapons to help us become victors. Yeah, it's nice to get out of the victim seat and be a victor. Today's uh, scripture, or today's thought is, Jesus' words are like a safety net. They help to keep me from falling into despair. And they do. Sometimes the enemy will have me right here, you know, where 
I don't want to pick up my prayer cards and read scripture because the demons know that God's word is all powerful and they don't like it and they flee. So if they've got me right here or I've got that bad attitude going where I don't want to uh, read out loud or whatever it is that's going on with me, lots of moods throughout the day. Um, if I can get myself to say something, anything, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not fear. Anything. Things change. The atmosphere changes. The sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So we stay in the fight. We stay in the fight. We focus on Jesus. We live one day at a time. And together we can do this thing. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your comments. I myself am getting a lot out of it. Um, you guys are really great. There's, a, I believe that there's a lot of healing that goes on on this channel. I, I do. You know, we talk about things. Uh, uh, it's, it's just really nice. Isn't it nice? Of course, it would be even more nice if we could all meet somewhere in a big vacant mansion somewhere up in the hills and uh, have a huge party. You know? That would be cool. But we don't. All right? We usually do things by way of uh, email and uh, commenting on uh, YouTube channels. But you know what? That's better than nothing, and I'll take it. I'll see you soon. God bless you.